Councils are required to develop a long-term financial plan for a period of 10 years. They are then required to review the plan as soon as possible after the Council has adopted its annual business plan for the year. Our Council reviews the long-term financial plan each year at the same time as preparing the annual business plan, adjusting for any community needs or financial boundaries that have surfaced over the previous 12 months. Included at the rear of the long-term financial plan, you'll see the assumptions in percentage terms Council have used to build the plan. These assumptions relate to factors such as the consumer price index and employee wages increases as negotiated within enterprise agreements. Council has also assumed that what it does for the community will not change. Information about the renewal of large assets such as roads, footpaths, stormwater, effluent and buildings taken from the asset management plans have also been included in the long-term financial plan. Financial indicators are reported within our audited financial statements and we use these same indicators in our long-term planning process as a guide to ensure Council remains in a sustainable financial position. The operating result is one of the main indicators Council focuses on when building its budget. Council's not about making profits, but it does need to make sure that what it raises in council rates and receives from grants will pay for all the services the community needs. The operating surplus ratio chart shows that 2016-17 we forecast a small surplus with further surpluses being achieved over the term of the plan. This result is based on the assumptions previously mentioned and that service levels remain just as they are now, meaning no new services have been introduced. The other indicator we look at is the net financial liabilities ratio. What this shows is whether Council is capable of covering all debt compared with its operating revenue. The graph shows Council's upper limit at 50% of our operating revenue. So the more the line moves away from the upper limit, the better the Council's capacity is to meet its financial obligations. The line going above the upper limit for 2016-18 shows Council's intention to borrow on a short-term basis for the construction of the Riverland Regional Innovation Sports Precinct. Council intends to repay these borrowings with the sale proceeds from the Berry Riverfront Land Development Project. Council's long-term financial plan, as reviewed, shows the Council are being responsible in setting themselves up to afford its current level of services, but also be in a position to afford any new projects that the community may wish for in the future.